Nearly 300 still missing in South Korean ferry accident. Rescuers and families of those aboard the stricken South Korean car ferry that sank off the country's southwest coast on Wednesday haven't given up hope of finding more people alive among the hundreds still unaccounted for. The Sewol ran into trouble during the 14-hour journey from Incheon to the southern resort island of Jeju early Wednesday morning. About four hours from its destination, the ship was sailing in thick fog which may have obscured the crew's vision. At 8.30 a.m., it appears as though the ship struck a large rock, puncturing its hull. Passengers described hearing a loud sound on impact and experiencing a sharp jolt. The ship tilted suddenly, causing luggage to fall from overhead storage shelves. Many people jumped into the frigid water as they realized that the ferry was sinking. The crew sent out a distress signal and nearby ships responded. But survivors say a message broadcast over the ship's PA system telling people to stay in place may have worsened the situation. One passenger said that even as the water inside the ship began to rise, they were told not to move. In the panic and chaos, one high schooler identified only by her last name, Shin, texted her father. Dad, don't worry. I've got a life jacket on and we're huddled together. Her father replied, I know the rescue has begun, but make your way out if you can. Dad, I can't walk out. The corridor is full of kids and it's too tilted. Shin's name is not among the list of people rescued. Others were saved by fishing boats and military ships with helicopters, which raced to the scene. Once the seawall began taking on water, it took just two hours to fully capsize. Witnesses say many people might still be alive, trapped within the upturned ferry. But it lies in 30 meter deep water. The water is murky, reducing visibility to less than half a meter, hampering the rescue. What's more, people trapped in air pockets must deal with the icy water, which can cause hypothermia in as little as 90 minutes. Rescue teams earlier hammered on the ship's hull, hoping for a response from trapped survivors, and divers have taken to the water, but hope is fading. 475 passengers and crew were aboard, including 324 high schoolers on a field trip. When disaster struck, many of those people were gathered in the Sewol's entertainment center on the third deck of the five-deck ship. When it capsized, the third deck was fully submerged. It is believed a power outage soon after would have left many of them in darkness.